Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am so glad you guys are hanging out with me today for this favorites video. I haven't done a favorites product video in a really long time, so I'm so excited to give you guys this one. These are just a few of the products that I've saved over the last month and a half maybe that have just really helped me and these products have easily become my favorite during my weight loss journey. I am so excited to get into this. I'm gonna start with a few things that I have repurchased that are cold that need to go back into the fridge and then we can get into the empties. First things first is this creamer. It's absolutely amazing. I did find this at Walmart. It's the pistachio latte, which pistachio is like my favorite flavor. I'm obsessed with it. And anytime I have ice cream, if I go out and have ice cream like pistachio is what I'm getting. Um, I'm gonna give you guys the points. I have my phone here. I'm on WW so I go by point system. One tablespoon is two and two tablespoon is four. I usually do about one tablespoon and then I do fat free, fat free half and half which you can have like four tablespoons for one point of fat free half and half. It's wild. So just a little bit of this for flavor and then some fat free half and half. Another item I want to share with you guys are these links. I've shared these so many times in What I Eat In A Day and get questions about them. <laughs> Why would, did I just give you guys the wrong side? <laughs> I get questions about these all the time. One link is 45 calories, one link is one point, two links is two points, which is really hard to find with chicken sausage. A lot of them tend to be like five, six points, but these are the breakfast ones. They have an apple flavor and then they just have like a country style and each of them are the same points. So I get these at Aldi. And then next is cheese. I know that this is a little bit on the expensive side, like $4.29 I think for some cheese. But it's the Sargenta Ultra Thin Swiss. They have the cheddar. The cheddar is two points for one and then the Swiss is only one point for one. And I love this with ham. I put it on Wasta Sourdough Crackers, which is another favorite, favorite product of mine. I will show you guys that in a second. But I put a little bit of this with some ham on a cracker and it's delicious. You can also make like a little tortilla, like warm ham tortilla if you prefer. And then I'm obsessed right now, you're gonna see in the empties right now, not right now, I've been obsessed with pickled veggies. I cannot stop eating pickled veggies. This one is the Italian mix. So there's cauliflower in here, carrot, celery, and cucumber. And it's so delicious and I, and pepperoncinis actually, and I eat this literally every day. So that's all the cold stuff I wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna pop that in the fridge and then we'll get into the empties. You guys know I'm all about my supplements and my powders. I've always been a really big fan of trying just like added bonus powders into my life, into my routine. These are the Bellaway powders. I'm obsessed with these. You can find them at Target. They're so good. You add them into water. This is the one that has super fiber. It's no sugar. It's vegan. It's a prebiotic and it is so good for your digestion and for your gut health. And same with this one, it's just a different flavor. It's the mixed berry and this is the raspberry lemon. I like the mixed berry, I think it's so good. It's just all around a great supplement to add into your routine, especially if you're trying to feel your best, be your healthiest and lose weight. These are some great options to add into your routine. The best way to take Bellway Super Fiber Powder is to add one scoop into water, not too cold of water and not too hot, just room temperature, give it a good mix and enjoy Joy. I also make sure I have another glass of water directly after taking the powder. And I'll link them for you guys. If you have trouble finding this at your local Target, you can order them online, so I'll leave that linked down below. One of the items I want to share is a seasoning mix. I like to buy chicken breast tenders, or I'll just buy a big thing of chicken breast, cut them in half, season them with this, do a little bit of olive oil spray, toss them in this seasoning. This is the barbecue coating mix. It is so, 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 so good. I'm obsessed with seasoning in general, um, but this one by far is one of my absolute favorites, and I got this from Aldi. And then a second favorite, I'm gonna leave a picture of it because I did throw it away, but I have to share it. It's the Sweet Chili Seasoning Packet from Great Value, and again, you just coat your chicken or seafood, whatever you're deciding to use it with. 
coat it with some olive oil spray and then toss your protein in the mix and it is so delicious chicken and seafood can kind of get boring when you eat it every day so i really like to amp it up in some big bold flavors if there is any points on those seasoning mix it's usually like one point but most of the times it's zero especially if you're making a big batch and you divide it up into like multiple servings you can get it to be zero points but if not if it's just like you're making a smaller portion of it and not a lot of it and it's not going further then it's usually like one point um this is the best jerky i get it from aldi it's the korean barbecue i've tried so many of their flavors they have like a garlic one a jalapeno one this one is so good you can have one ounce of this you need to weigh it out one ounce 28 grams either one for three points it's so good and i pair this with those pickled veggies which are usually always zero points unless there's sugar and one of them there is sugar in the pickled veggies that i get but it's only one point so four point snack so good i love this one it's from aldi now six points is kind of hefty for cereal but if you are a cereal lover and you're going through a craving this is a good option this is the kellogg's chocolate it's so yummy it has chocolate bits in it and then this is the kellogg's fruit and yogurt which this one's also really good you can throw in some berries so six points for a cup of this but i really love cereal and i'd rather have six points of cereal than like eight or nine points sometimes like apple jacks and things like that are really high in points so six points for a cup is honestly pretty decent when it comes to cereal and these are a little bit also higher in protein lower in sugar there's also other cereal brands out there that I've tried that are like really low in points, but they taste like garbage. <laughs> like, I'm just being real. They taste like not good at all. These Outshine popsicles are so delicious. You get them, I get them from Publix. They're usually BOGO, but the mango one's okay. The peach one's okay. This is where it's at. The pineapple one is like my absolute favorite and the only one worth really showing you guys. Um, I like them so much that if they're BOGO, I get just two pineapples because they're just so good. I think they're four points. Oh, they're five points. Dang. And again, you can always find lower point options, but these are just like currently some of my favorites. Okay, I had tacos. I made tacos one night and I got these wraps. Now, I've tried like zero carb, just plain wraps, but this is the Chipotle one. One point for one of these tortillas. Um, I think it might even be two for one. Let's go ahead and scan it. But the Chipotle flavor is so good. I really enjoyed it. Um, so two, okay, so two for two. But this is what they look like. And I got mine, this I actually got from Target. Um, and I loved it. The Chipotle was amazing. I'm pretty sure I might've shared this before, but air fried diet Tyson chicken is the way to go. Anytime you want some chicken tenders, get these they're so great in points they're great in calories great in protein you can get these honestly from like Publix, target walmart i've seen them the only place you can't i haven't ever seen them is aldi it's not like an aldi brand um product but they're delicious i love them so much and anytime i'm craving fast food that's what i'll tend to make you guys know i love my coffee this is so good this is the stock espresso blend anytime I can find this i grab it because i never can find this one i can find all the other ones but not this one but it's my favorite it's so good oh wow it matches look how much that blends in <laughs> with my painting which i literally was inspired by coffee and then this is the fat free half and half i was telling about um telling you guys about earlier i get this from aldi a lot of people say they can never find fat free half and half and i know what you mean and of all places aldi has it but yeah you can have like four tablespoons of this for one point and a lot of the times if i want like a creamy sauce i will just not even use alfredo i'll just make my own using fat free half and half because you can have so much of it for so low and this is what i add into my coffee as well another current favorite is these now these are like extra these are like if you want to splurge a little these are the magic mind shots they're like these green little shots that really help me focus and um just give me some energy they're like loaded with antioxidants loaded with like superfoods and vitamins i'm obsessed with them they're called magic mind i think i still have a code i will leave it linked down below but i love them so much um let me grab one this is what they look like they're like a productivity shot 
and I just want to share them because I struggle with like focusing on one thing especially when it comes to filming and editing like a lot of the times I'll skip around and I get so flustered but I like to take these on editing days and they really honestly help so much I only have three left that's it but I love them I had to share Okay, now we're getting into the pickled stuff. I've probably gone through, and I'm not even joking, 30, maybe like, yeah, around 30 of these jars the last few months. I get them from our Aldi. They're the Happy Harvest Slice Beets. They're pickled beets, and they're so, so good. I love them so much. If you don't like beets, you probably won't like it, but if you kind of like beets, you'll love it because it's pickled. So they're way better than like fresh beets or like beets in, beets in a can. The pickled beets are like a whole new level. And I make my pickled boiled eggs, which are in my fridge right now. So maybe I'll pop those out so you guys have reference of what I'm talking about. But I use the liquid in the beet jar and I put it in boiled eggs. I pickle the boiled eggs and they taste like beets and they're just so good. So yeah, I could talk about that all day. And then these are, I'm addicted. I want this brand to notice me so bad and send me just a ton of these. This is the Wicked, um, Wickles Wicked Okra. And this has a little bit of sugar, so there's points in it. I think it's three, you can have three or four of these for one point. That's usually enough, like three is plenty. Um, I always add it with all my other pickled things I'm sharing. But these are so good, I, you can only find them at Publix. They're the best things ever. I can't even explain how good these are. It's the sauce. The sauce is so delicious. The liquid, I mean. And then I save the liquid and I add it into my artichokes because I get canned artichokes, which is another favorite of mine. But I don't like the liquid that it comes in, so I save the liquid from the okra jar and then I put it into <laughs> the artichoke jar. I'm crazy. Um, I'm, um, yeah, olives. Any kind of stuffed olives. Garlic stuffed olives. Blue cheese olives. I'm a fan. I can't stop eating them. Okay. This is so random, but I feel like a lot of people don't cook with shallots. Leave a comment, let me know. Do you guys cook with shallots? Because I never really did. But then I was inspired on TikTok, of course, to start cooking with shallots, and now I can't stop. And I love them. I think they're so good. Like, they're so packed with, like, a sweet onion. And they're just, it's like a sweet onion, but, like, really small. I love them. So, shallots is, like, something I'm currently loving to cook with. I'm sharing cottage cheese, which I'm sure you guys have seen cottage cheese go around so much. I obviously like cottage cheese with mustard. If you guys have been following me, you've seen me eat that quite a bit as a dip. But I also really have been loving cottage cheese blended with nutritional yeast. And I make, I put seasonings in there like garlic powder, onion powder, salt, paprika, cumin. And I make like a nacho cheese. And it's insane in points. I think you can have like a half a cup for like one point of this cheese and it's so good to make and make it kind of like on the thicker side and you can like drizzle it as a sauce you can use it on top of tacos a salad it's just so good you can make like potato wedges and dip it in there it's kind of like my golden cheese sauce which is in my ebook it's made of cashews and it's vegan but this is a dairy version of that and it's with cottage cheese which is so good in protein so i love cottage cheese it's amazing you can do so much with it Okay, I had to share this because I've never tried the vanilla bean sugar-free Torini. I love Torini. It's like my favorite syrup. I go to TJ Maxx and get it for $7.49. And I always get French vanilla. But I tried the vanilla bean and it is delicious. It truly tastes so homey to me. Like it tastes like someone made a vanilla bean syrup just for me uh, or something. But truly love the vanilla bean. I don't think I'll ever get French vanilla if I can always get the vanilla bean because it's that good. And then I... This is the best best hot sauce it's spicy agave and it's nothing compares i've tried so many hot sauces this is so thick and sweet but spicy more on the sweet side it's tabanero spicy agave and i get it from target it's delicious hopefully you guys can see this um logo really well screenshot it try to find it it's the best Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to share for my favorites for the month. I will make sure to keep continuing the favorites. I need to get back into it. Let me know if you guys enjoy this. Leave me a comment, let me know. Subscribe, thumbs up, that also really helps. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.